Federal Conservative leader Andrew Scheer called commuters, seniors and hockey moms the enemy of Justin Trudeau's carbon tax, as he also took aim at the Prime Minister's top staffers in a speech to provincial party members. Speaking at the Ontario Progressive Conservative Convention on Saturday, Mr. Scheer said the federal carbon tax will affect the pocketbooks of everyday Canadians while the country's largest emitters get a special deal. In August, the federal government drastically reduced the scope of its planned carbon tax to address competitiveness concerns. What about you? What about all those people who have to drive to work, have to commute, to take their kids to activities? What about the small and medium-sized businesses that have to make payroll with higher regulatory costs? They don't get a special break, Mr. Scheer told the crowd. To Justin Trudeau, you're the enemy. The commuter, the office worker, the hockey mom, the retired senior. Those are the people that are getting dinged by this carbon tax, that's why it's unfair. Last month, Mr. Trudeau unveiled a carbon tax plan that he said would see 80% of households in the province financially better off as a result of annual rebates to be paid in the spring. Building on a speech made by Premier Doug Ford on Friday, Mr. Scheer also targeted Mr. Trudeau's top advisers, referring to the scandal-plagued McGinty Wynn liberals who currently work for the federal government. Mr. Trudeau's chief of staff, Katie Telford, and his principal secretary Gerald Butts in Ontario politics before moving to Ottawa, as did other top staffers. The very same Queen's Park Liberals who left Premier Ford and team with the mess that they've inherited have moved on to Ottawa and are trying to do the same to Canada that they did to Ontario, Mr. Scheer said, we can't let that happen. In response to Mr. Scheer's comments, a spokeswoman for the Prime Minister's office said, the Conservatives have been fixated on Justin Trudeau for years. We've always been focused on Canadians, and we're going to stay focused on Canadians. Conservatives were quick to point out that Mr. Trudeau also frequently targets former Prime Minister Stephen Harper, in both his convention speeches and the Commons. Before his morning speech, Mr. Scheer was introduced by Attorney General Carolyn Mulroney, who is also the Minister of Francophone Affairs. Ms. Mulroney is under fire for her government's decision to cancel the province's plans for a Francophone university as well as the French Language Services Commissioner, in last week's fall fiscal update. Mr. Scheer peppered French throughout his speech, but he was not made available to reporters. In his opening night speech on Friday, Mr. Ford also broadened his attack against Mr. Trudeau and the federal carbon tax to include the Prime Minister's advisers. We will fight the carbon tax right to the end. The Prime Minister, his ministers, his advisers, they want to impose a carbon tax that will jack up the price of everything, every good and every service, Mr. Ford. Whose government is challenging the tax in court, said. Meanwhile, a proposal to remove gender identity from the sex education curriculum passed on the convention floor, meaning it will be debated and voted upon at the next policy convention. The proposal was made by former leadership candidate Tanya Granik Allen, a social conservative who taken off the slate by Mr. Ford in the June election. Policy discussions at the convention are not open to the media. A spokesman for Mr. Ford said the government continues to consult with parents and students across the province on the sex education curriculum. The consultations wrap up in December. Despite Mr. Ford's assurances that the Ontario PC party has never been stronger, the PCs are facing a bitter battle for party president at the gathering in Toronto this weekend, as members will also vote on measures to clean up nomination races and membership sales.